Oh, <laughs> you know, I, oh, wow, sorry table. I am all about building your own computer, but there comes a certain point when you're getting into like custom liquid cooling. It's a huge pain. You need to buy not only the computer and all the stuff to go in it, but also like a custom water cooling like kit so they were able to do it. Which I guess is kind of the only situation where you might want to buy a pre-built. So this right here is the main gear rush and let's get right into it. This is a pretty fun hat. This thing, I believe, is 10 grand worth of computing. How do you even spend 10 grand on a computer? Like, I guess we're gonna find out here pretty soon, but holy crap, that is a lot of money. <laughs> we have a computer here. Oh, comes with cable mod cables, I guess. These are kind of cable mod cables. We also have some tubing. Here are cables. I'm guessing these are just kind of spares if you do upgrades. Oh yeah, and we have like say SATA cables here. We also have a couple trays, I think. Oh yeah, for additional hard drives. So there's three trays right here. I believe there's already one hard drive in there. So I'm guessing four is the total that you can put in. Oh, and like cooler mounting stuff that would have came with the uh, motherboard. So this will be pretty nice if you decide to sell the motherboard and want to like, you know, include the stuff to put an air cooler on it. Probably designed in New Jersey. So we get a little baggy thing here. And, oh, this is, this is a gift. I guess you spend 10 grand, they can pay a bit extra for like fun inclusions. Got a pen. Feels like I'm going to summer camp. Little coaster. <laughs> Okay, yep, more SATA cables. Lots of those, I guess, if you wanna just like toss your hard drives in the back of the case, you can. Wi-Fi adapter thing, another ROG coaster, and a Windows recovery USB, which is kind of fun. I don't trust this table. Oh, okay, one moment. There we go. Be good table. Oh, this is really heavy. <laughs> All right, so here it is. The Main Gear Rush. I guess we got the black version. There's a black and a silver. Got the nice warning here. Before powering, you must first remove packaging from inside of the computer. I think we're gonna do that. So to take off the top panel, you first unscrew these and there's a little latch here. So you just kind of flick that down and boom, that's off. And I'm guessing the tempered glass panels just come up and out now. Yes. Back panel's coming off too, I guess. <laughs> We've got a almost Singularity Computers-esque kind of like a distribution plate here. I'm actually pretty surprised that this is a bits power block because EK Water Blocks has their own custom distribution panel for this case that goes in the back here. But it looks like Main Gear's decided instead to put the distribution block up front and then add a radiator in the back where the other distribution plate would go. This might look a bit excessive as far as packaging goes, but it's absolutely necessary. I think that we have a custom pink color for this. It's called like crystal pink or something like that. But either way, this is a sex spec computer right here. Holy crap. Like look at these fittings. Sometimes you can do sort of stuff like this where you get these fittings chains and it can look kind of like you just cheated and didn't bother with like the hardline tubing. But here it just looks so sick because of these awesome bits power fittings. So this is just like a little adapter that just moves the hardline connection up a couple millimeters so that this tube can run perfectly straight across. I have to say, I really appreciate how compact this whole machine is given that you get, what? One triple radiator, a dual, and another dual 140 it looks like there. So you have a massive amount of cooling given the amount of space that it takes up. Like this is only slightly larger than like your average desktop. And this, this cooling loop, like how does it work? So we have the pump back here that then pumps out there, goes to this radiator up here through the GPUs. So these are in series and then it comes up through here. So the VRMs on the motherboard are also cooled as well as the CPU. So it's in parallel between the CPU and the VRM. So it's going in there, out there, but also in, around and back out. 
And then it's being cooled by this radiator and then this one back here. I might have my flow direction wrong. No, that wouldn't make sense. It would have to, you'd want all of this to be above the pump so that it always comes in and out. Then if you want to fill it, there's a nice little fill port here that you just stick a funnel into and you're all good. And a little drain port down here. This is actually a really well engineered loop. Let's get to what's in the computer. I kind of forgot about it, honestly, because all the cooling was so sick. Here we have two 2080 Ti's and those are an SLI. Then in here we have AMD's Ryzen 9 3950X. So that's their 16 core CPU. And it's on Asus's Crosshair 8 formula. This is the one with the VRM cooling. So you'll be able to really overclock the balls off of the processor. All of that's finished off by 64 gigabytes of RAM, a two terabyte NVMe SSD for boot, a four terabyte SSD for storage, and a six terabyte hard drive for less faster storage. In order to, you know, power all of that, they have an EVGA Supernova 1200 watt. And we have our four hard drive bays here, which seem like they're really easy to access. That's actually really easy hard drive swapping. Tiny bit more on the front here, we have USB type C. Is this lighting? It's probably lighting control. Power, reset, and two USB type A's. Around the back, we've got just heaps of IO on the motherboard. We've got eight, nine, 10, 11 USB type A's, a type C. You know, there were all of those cables and accessories, but I actually don't remember seeing a power cord in here. Uh, got one here, but that would be kind of annoying if you didn't happen to have one around. Oh, there's probably gonna be so much RGB in here. But if you don't want RGB, Team Group's got you covered. The Team Group Dark Z gaming memory has aggressive styling with an aluminum heatsink. It comes with a lifetime warranty and works with both Intel and AMD processors. Right now they have the Be Invincible giveaway. Three winners who enter get a chance to win a Team Group product. Don't miss out and enter at the link below. Oh, I just realized that I have a peel to do. Ooh. Damn. Oh. This is what dreams are made out of. All right, we've got it set up. Games are installed. I'd like to say we're going to play the latest of the latest, but uh, I've been playing Descenders lately and I wanna play that, so we're going to. This is not a very pretty looking game. At the same time, it's a poorly optimized game, so it's actually a pretty good test for this. At my house, I have a 1080 and it kind of struggles to keep the frame rate up on high around there. So we're gonna just put this on ultra at 4K and see if it can do it. If it does, I'll be impressed. And it looks like we're sitting right around 150 FPS, which is pretty awesome given that this is kind of an unoptimized piece of garbage. So you just get put on a procedurally generated trail and then you have to do something like here, not breaking, which can get pretty tough sometimes because like I'm going pretty fast right now. How are our temps doing? Let's see, in hardware info here, it's like processor's been up around 4.7 gigahertz and the maximum temperature has been 72 degrees, dropping fast. It seems to be more around 60 or so for the most part. VRMs are at 30 degrees. <laughs> no problems there at all. Where's the GPU? Maximum temperature on the GPU is 44 degrees. Hot damn. Uh, the other GPU, 46 degrees. So I guess with this configuration, the second card is getting a tiny bit hotter, but at the same time, it's a 46 degrees, like what the hell? And so you're going to have absolutely no problems with this turboing down or anything like that. I don't think anyone's surprised that this is an excellent gaming machine. <laughs> I'd freaking hope so for 10 grand. So this thing is really sick. As far as just amazing looking water cooling goes, I haven't seen something this nice and clean for quite some time. Now, before we leave here, there's something that I have been really looking forward to. We've had the side panel off just so you guys can see what's on the go here, but we're gonna put it on for a second. There we go. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. Hit like, get subscribed, have a fantastic old day. And yeah, this thing's sick. Oh, wow. Best outro ever.